right, three, two, one. Welcome to Minding Your Business with our host, Chris Biker, owner of Antelope Valley Floors, the best florist in the Antelope Valley. That's what I hear. I'll tell you right now, we're really excited about today because we got some great guests. So if you're listening to this on radio on 1380 AM Talk Radio, as well as across the internet on AB Nice. We want to thank uh, the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce for, for sponsoring this and give us the opportunity to get to know our community better. Uh, today's show, we're going to begin with a very important sports person in such an important way. Uh, this is Kelly Dollins. Kelly Dollins is from Rancho Vista, of course, the golf course without the wind. Right. right. So, Kelly, we have one minute. What else can you tell us? <laughs> without the wind? <laughs> um, well, uh, Rancho Vista Golf Club is located in the Rancho Vista uh, community, and it is uh, the only public 18-hole golf course here in the Antelope Valley. Uh, we have a beautiful banquet room where we have meetings and quinceañeras and weddings. We have a beautiful ceremony site. Uh, we have memberships for golfing, and uh, but we are open to the public. Our restaurant, we have buffets, Taco Tuesday, we have live music on Friday nights. I love to slip in there every once in a while for lunch. You we know, have Parking is awesome. Yeah. We have a beautiful parking lot too. That's, that's yes, we do. a nice thing. And I do point that out to my brides when they are looking for venues. Um, I explained to them that you want your guests to have a safe, well-lit, beautiful parking lot for, for their guests. You know, being in the flower business, the, the hardest thing about a wedding or, or any venue event is the venue finding it. Once they choose the date, once they find the date, then they can buy the flowers and do the rest of it. But they're looking for a place. And I Correct. see you're, you're always escorting brides and grooms through the place there. I do. I do quite a bit of tours. I always ask that you know guests either email me or make an appointment to come in. I don't want to miss anyone, so I want to give everybody um, you know, ample opportunity to take a nice tour of, of our banquet room. And uh, yes, Chris, you do quite a bit of florist uh, work with us, and you do beautiful work. And Rancho Vista, uh, we have quite a few vendors that we do refer to. However, we do know who... Uh, we like to refer to people who are professional in, the, in their area, whether it be a DJ, uh, florist, photographer, and someone who um, is going to take good care of our guests. That's who we like to refer to, and I, Chris A.B. Flores has done a phenomenal job at that. Well, thank you. You know, we, um, it's all about the family, the customer, but it's all about the family. We, we respect them, all the different occasions in life. So what other events have you done? You, you've done a lot of weddings and continue to, and golf tournaments. You had uh, the Stream... The Expo. The Stream Expo. Right. A couple that, weeks ago. Yes, that was, that was a great... It was through the Lancaster Chambers Yay program for the Youth Entrepreneur um, Academy. And my particular uh, young lady that I mentored, her dream was to put on an expo for kids to be able to have hands-on different types of vendors to learn different type of academic... Um, uh, facets of life for them, whether it be arts. Um, actually, STREAM stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Entertainment, uh, um, uh, engineering. engineering, yes, Arts, and Math. So she wanted to get the full spectrum, especially with, with the reading. So she had her vendors come, and we invited schools, and, and that, was, that was a really nice event uh, that we were able to support for the Lancaster Chamber. Uh, we do uh, doctors' meetings. Uh, we do do memorials uh, for for loved ones who have passed. We do just about anything. A lot of chamber lunches. A lot of chamber lunches. Yes. You have a a, a meeting uh, sponsored by the dental doctors in December, I think. It's a Christmas party. Um, actually, it's in November. November. Right. That's uh, Heritage. Um, uh, give a shout out to them as well. Heritage Oral Surgery, Dr. Right. Lang and Dr. Kim, uh, every year they do have a big thank you for their referrals, the referring doctors. You know, it's the, the garlic meatballs that bring them back. No, it's not the garlic meatballs. Oh, it's, it's, it's the roasted Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts. They, they are f if you can take any type <laughs> of nutritional value out of anything, we can do it. It's They, they fry them, they toss them in butter and, and bacon, and it's just the most Wonderful, even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, you will eat these. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you happen to know the date in November? Um, <laughs> well, that is for the you know Heritage Oral Surgery Center to, to pass out their invitations. It is for uh, referring doctors and their office. Okay, well, so I'm it's not keep, open to the public. I get there because of the uh, I have a date for that event, so 
Yes. I'm lucky. Now, yes. Kelly, <clears throat> now, Kelly, as you get closer to, to the holiday season, uh, when you're booking the room, uh, and if you need a Santa Claus and a oh. Mrs. Claus, I happen to know uh, two good ones. So just Let, keep that. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! That's awesome. I will be sure to get your number for, before I leave. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we do a lot of Christmas parties, uh, a lot of holiday parties. Um, you know, they do book fairly quickly. Uh, we are, you know, my Saturdays and Friday nights, of course, are the most uh, sought after uh, for for Christmas parties. So I squeeze in luncheons and and uh, we, yeah, Christmas is definitely a very, but I do a lot of weddings even in January, February. Uh, quinceañeras are, are huge with us. How many hours does a quinceañera occupy? About the same as a wedding? Yes, it is uh, for six hours. Uh, the venue is for six hours. I don't tell them when they can, you know, it, usually we like to end at midnight, so they'll go from six to midnight. Um, I just, we could go later, we are, a, you know, private property and we do have a uh, uh, restaurant and, and bar license, you know, alcohol license. So we don't allow any outside alcohol or, or food into our venue, but um, mainly it's six hours. For smaller parties, if you're just going to do a smaller party, it's four hours. Now, how did they find you? How did they find you for this task, for this job? You know, it's amazing. Uh, I keep track of that very thing, being in sales. Um, and most of it is word of mouth. Uh, we do have some internet people who, you know, are cruising the internet and they'll find us that way, but generally it's it's word of mouth. I've been to a wedding here, or I heard of a wedding, or I've been to a quince, or... It doesn't get any better than that. No. And Kelly, how long, how long before the wedding should they start looking at venues? Um, generally about a year out. So if you're looking at doing a large event like this, a 100, 200 person event, you want to have at least a year out to, to um, you know, take your time to be able to find the other vendors. We provide you basically with the banquet room, the staff, we set up, clean up, ch tables, chairs. But as far as like decorating, flowers, DJs, uh, you do need to provide that yourself. Uh, we do have a list of vendors, like I told, you know, said before, um, who are phenomenal and they are professionals. We like to get vendors who have been doing some events with us. It just helps the staff. We all kind of connect and work better together. So, What's your phone number there? Our phone number at Rancho Vista Golf Club is 661-272. You can contact me at 9830. So it's 661-272-9830. Yeah, don't ask me the Chamber of Commerce phone number, okay? <laughs> So how long has Rancho Vista been there? It's been about 20 years. No, it hasn't been that long. It's been, uh, I believe, it, it's been about 12 years. Th I, I could be wrong on that, 12. Um, it was originally uh, built by uh, two partners who had Rancho Vista Development um, um, Company, and they put that in their whole development of the entire area. Have we ever filled it up with water? Because I think, it, isn't it meant to be a retention basin? It is. Drainage? It is. We do uh, run our water off of the retention that we do receive. Um, when we do get rain, our, our driving range will fill up very quickly, and we recycle that water. So It's pretty neat. It is. It is. We have had some water issues, of course, and we are drought conscientious. Uh, we have had to cut back. On some of the, but our fairways and our greens and our tee boxes still look phenomenal. They look fantastic. You know, some of the, the sides, yeah, we had to cut back, which is we're doing our part, of course, to help with the drought. Um, and we have had, you know, some issues like everybody else with, with water. Uh, you, you always seem busy to me, but does anybody have any trouble when they show up to play golf? Are they able to get on? Oh, yeah. It's golf you can normally get on. I mean, in the morning, we do have a lot of our normal club members who are have, you know, golf memberships. and. Um, but it's you can get on pretty fairly easily, uh, but we are busy. I mean it is spread out throughout the day We do run specials if you want to be on our email list and, and get those specials, which is kind of nice Nate is our pro uh, head pro there, and he'll put a shout out email in hey do a special real quick You know last it's kind of usually the night before he'll let you know so you don't actually have to work in the pro shop yourself. No, but I do like to golf, and and I have a little happy hour league that where we kind of get together every other Friday. And for those women who are just learning how to golf, and their husbands, 
don't want to take them for a regular game, we do a four-person scramble. Sounds like you're having fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, big question. What's your handicap? <laughs> I don't have a handicap. I'm, I only keep track when I'm playing in tournaments and, <laughs> and scrambles, so I don't even have a handicap. Okay. I never took the game that seriously. I, I just love to play it. There's still time. <laughs> once, once you retire, and you, right. you maybe can, I can uh, be a little more serious. Get, get serious and keep track of your handicap. I just love the game of golf. It's, I mean, it's just a phenomenal way to get out there and be out in the outdoors on some grass and and um, basically uh, enjoy, you know, your spouse or friends. And it, I just think it's a nice way for outings. It's a great way too for um, charities if you want to for right. doing tournaments. Right. It's Rancho Vista Golf Club, an amazing location in the Antelope Valley. It's an amazing business, and you're having fun there. Oh, it is. It's it's a blast. We just got new carpet put in. Uh, the owners are really uh, got brand new Chivari chairs, so they're doing a lot of fixing up and uh, facelifting, and it's it's a great place. Kelly Dolans, thank you very much for coming in. Take care. Four. <laughs> <laughs> It is an amazing story, and businesses we like to call Avi Nice. <laughs>